Okay, so let's continue with our idea of you know the continuous random variable. So this is my height now, and say I have some distribution of the getting that height, and I'm considering a small range instead of a particular value, right? Now this range, this a to b, can be considered very small. Say for example, it can be zero 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 one, right? So that means if I'm looking for a probability of certain height here and a certain height very close to that range so that means it will look something like this so that means by considering a small range I'm actually uh, kind of looking at the particular value right so so far I've been saying that I'm looking only at the range but and not looking at the particular value but but by considering a small range like this I'm pretty much I can approximate that I am actually looking at a particular value right because the range is small, so small and because I am taking a range so my uh, probability will not be 0 at least I will have some probability so that means the height within this range right um, it is high because it, it the height of this portion is high and probability of getting somebody's height within this range is low because this height is small. So that means this uh, function in the x-axis, right? So whatever be the width, so a minus b in this case times whatever be the height, say height is, if you multiply with the small uh, probability, say it's point, point say two five, right? So this height can be point two five in this for, for a particular example. So that means point two five times a small amount is the probability of getting this height here. So that way we can calculate the probability of each and every value there. But overall we should keep in mind that the entire area, the probability of the entire area is actually 1. So that means my a probability, this is the entire probability curve. So if I sum all this total area, so that should be is equal to 1. So which is nothing but what is the probability of getting a height of range 50.1 to 50.2 plus whatever be the height a probability of the getting a height of 50.2 to 50.3 say three and so on all this should be equal to 1 all right so that is the concept of continuous random variable i hope you have learned something new today and please do practice this concept because uh, this is our last video on the probability theory and but this concept will be now used once we move into the uh, machine learning algorithm and I try to understand them. So till then have a great day. Uh, we might add one small video on the Gaussian random variable because that's frequently we encounter them but conceptually this is all you need to know from a probability theory at this point to get started. So have a great day.